Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Legendary Roulette, where last time I decided to enlist some assistance. Floating around in the sky, we have now got the Brotherhood of Steel helping me out, and yes indeed, uh, those knights, they can spawn in as legendaries, so oh, they're gonna be tough cookies. And on top of that, oh, robot friend, I love you. So okay, last week's haul, need to give that a look, say. Because yes, indeed, we did get a new explosive weapon, but to be honest, yes. This is not a good thing. There's basically no way to make the fire rate go up on this thing. Like, oh my goodness, six up to seven. Magnificent. Though, to be honest, I may keep it just because, well, I've got ammo for it. Which is, you know, a big step forward over plenty of my guns. Oh, and I completely forgot. Yes, I didn't level up last time, so... I mean, explosive could be, yeah, like, twice as strong and a larger blast radius, too. Which admittedly just means I'm going to be blowing myself up a lot more, but... I mean, I think we need to go for it, yes. Yeah, so, okay. Perception up to five, uh, lovely. Alright, next on the to-do list, Memory Dan. And after one quick run through some memories... There we go. We now know we're heading towards the glowing sea. And on top of that, we just hit level 20. Now level 20 is, yes, we're definitely into gamma gun territory. But on top of that, 20 is Fat Man. Legendary Fat Man launchers can now spawn. Oh, that could be fun. And reaffirms, oh yeah, let's go demo expert as soon as possible. Okay, we got a long way to go and yes indeed, I wouldn't mind some new stuff at spawning in. I need some, yeah. Better weapons that use 45 fusion cells, all the rest of it. So, you know what? There's a few locations with plenty of bad guys just straight down the side of the map here. So, while I'd normally head down the coast of the river and cross the bridge at this point, that's a pretty easy walk, actually. No. I'm going to go back to Fort Hagen and head straight down south. There's a fair few locations with, yeah, big numbers of enemies between me and the edge of the glowing sea. Okay, now I'm gonna be honest, some of this is, yeah, not entirely familiar to me. I don't often come this route, so I've got a vague idea of some landmarks I'm gonna be encountering along the way, but yeah, some of this might just uh, surprise me. I know, yes, there's, uh, there's a big, is it a power plant? I think that might be a power plant up ahead. Uh, there's obviously, yes, the big motel. There's a death claw fighting super mutants. Okay. And seriously, maybe stay off the roads. The roads could be a lot more dangerous these days uh, than you're expecting. Just, I'm going in the right direction. I know where I'm heading right now. Just keep on keeping on. Oh yeah, there's a big concentration of buildings around here. This might be like an area a lot of people just miss. Because unless you're doing Nick Valentine's uh, companion mission... There's basically no reason to come to, yeah, the fairly large town area just by the side of this here lake. There we go. We got ourselves uh, ghouls. Many ghouls. Poseidon Reservoir. Excellent. Let's just start breaking some legs here, lads. Legs go down. Badly damaged. Got to be. Oh, yeah, that's working. Right. Let's just go for... No! 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 You guys all nice and dead. Lovely, that's everybody nice and on the ground. Oh, this is. I'm having real fun with my explosive gun. It's just the best. Also, for some reason, exploded ghouls seem to be consistently generating limbs that just keep doing a nice little dance. I don't know why. They just insist on doing it. Irradiated pipe machine gun. No, that's pipe again. Come on, game. We are beyond that. We should be getting better stuff than this. Though then again, actually, you know what? I'm curious. Once I've got a nice legendary ghoul on the ground, given radiation it heals these guys when glowing ones do it, does an irradiated gun heal a ghoul? And the answer appears to be no, actually. They just don't care one way or the other. Okay, that's a fascinating thing to have learnt. Now let's just kill the rest of them and... Oh, there we go. The first Gamma Gun. Steadfast is terrible, 
and gamma rounds are very uncommon, but to the bare minimum, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's just... I love explosive. Explosive is just so good. So, so damn good. And yes, I am aware people have pointed this out in the, uh, the comments. In theory, wounding and relentless could become like, you know, a pairing where you put the wounding damage on and then you use relentless when you switch to it to basically keep your AP being refilled up so you can use that's time to let the bleeding damage do its work. But I just feel like I would never remember to go through that entire process. I'd rather just put, you know, more bleed damage on them. All right, nothing else up top as far as I can see, though. I'm gonna be honest. I can't actually remember what this place is. Like, okay, clearly some form of uh, water infrastructure. But can you, like, go in the... You cannot go in the bottom, and also I have never taken Aqua Girl. All right, it's a rare large Fallout 4 building. I just don't know what's inside, so I may as well have a bit of a nosy round. Okay, mostly it's a giant pile of, uh, yes, ghouls, oil, etc. I feel like actually, okay, you know what? I feel like this is a good moment for some jets. I may have just walked into something a bit on the, uh, the dangerous side, actually. So explosive, right? No, 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 no. No legs for you. No legs for you either. Fall back a second. Oh, it looks very dramatic and slower. Oh, you're here too. Right, just down with your... Down with everybody's legs. Nobody gets... Nobody gets legs. What did I just say? Right, take out your legs. Take out your legs too, buddy. Just... Oh, I'm almost out of ammo again. Oh, this was... This might have been a mistake. All right, now I'm just kind of, uh, yes, rocking around with uh, no ammo. You've got no arms, but you've still got legs. So, okay, you did not get the memo. Also, I've just discovered a fascinating new tactic here, which is, yes, when ghouls are down, but not dead, their corpses are actually physically on the map. So, I think this guy can't get to me because he can't path by these guys because they're obstructing him. I've turned ghouls into a living barricade. Oh, well, that's just lovely. So, okay, as long as I'm now just, you know, keeping those lads alive, uh, nothing that wakes up downstairs uh, can get up to me up here. Well, that's just fascinating. Uh, I will say one thing, though, which is, yes, I just noticed up ahead, caught a glimpse of him for a second, there's a big glowing one down there. Oh, yeah. Now, he's tough, and his limbs uh, are tough. This here... This is the one moment where actually the kneecapper is still useful. Because the kneecapper... Hang on, buddy. Buddy, 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 you... Okay, you completely saw me a second ago. Then you just lost me, you stupid bastard. Where'd you go? There we go, right there. This here is the right moment. Because now, there we go. Now a leg is down, meaning a single bullet will bring him down. Whereas if we just say, you know, put something else on you guys. Hello, don't mind me, it's all fine. Okay, may have blown your other limbs off there by mistake, but yeah. When you're dealing with a tanky enough enemy, there comes a point where potentially the limb health is so high that a guaranteed percentage chance to cripple the limb is going to be more effective. Yeah, there are going to be moments when actually I want to bring kneecapper out of retirement, so okay. Glad we didn't actually, like, you know, sell that or anything. And seriously, do not underestimate legendary glowing ones. So if we just put some, uh, bleeding, like a lot of bleeding on them, even then, look at that. That health bar is not going down fast. Legendary glowings could have uh, a lot of health right there. Marvelous. And for all that, powerful boxing gloves. Brilliant. Love it. Thank you. Though, yes, there's, there's a weird thing. About um, enemies uh, that drop legendary weapons, which is uh, they have more ammo on them than you'd expect. And like, not relevant ammo. Like, he's got 45 uh, and he's got 10 millimeter. Neither of which fit into boxing gloves, uh, no matter how long you try to find a way. So, uh, I don't really know why. But yeah, legendary enemies just seem to have like multiple different kinds of ammo on them. And I do not know why precisely. Down the road on our way, and, uh, yeah. The motel is raider territory. 
So let's just... I was about to say, let's just skirt round that for a second, especially as... Uh... Okay, I feel like it might be a bit late to skirt round that, actually. Let's just crit you in the head, buddy. Oh, now that was nice. That was beautiful. Right there, let's just uh, take out Missile Launcher Man. Bear in mind, any of these people might have, uh, you know, actual really good uh, legendary. Let's be on our way, actually. Let's just uh, be on our way. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Round the back here. Plenty of collapsed buildings. Uh, okay, they've lost me. Good, 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 good. I do like this town. This town that's been, like, half collapsed into uh, the water. It's lovely. Architecturally, I mean. And... Uh, I see mutants fighting. There we go. Mutant versus Deathclaw. Bring it on. Okay, I need to get into a good position to, uh, you know, watch and uh, not die. Who's alive? Uh, and No! No! Ow! That was my limbs. Okay, maybe just watch out for mines as well. There's one more over there, but I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. There's you, buddy. Oh, you're in good shape. Okay, you know what? This here, precisely what I was just saying. This is what we need the kneecapper for. Let's bring you down, buddy. And he did the stagger, and I'm pretty sure that's him. Yeah, there he is. He's down the ground. Can't do a thing. Well, more mutants, but these ones are just given corpses, so not... Oh! Okay, you decided to, um, just get up and heal your leg, did ya? Alright, that's, um, it's a good trick. Good trick right there. Recovery of your limb condition. Just keep breaking them legs. Eventually, you'll get the memo. Seriously, though, where did that skirmisher go? Because there was a skirmisher somewhere. Well, the death claw was coming from this direction. So, presumably, the corpse should be somewhere around here. I mean, I can see giblets. Auto stim can be useful if you get uh, flustered or panicked or whatever. But for the most part, I managed to keep control of my stimming right there. You just didn't have a... Hello! Don't mind me! Don't mind me! Don't mind me! Don't have legs anymore! Alright, no legs. Do you have no legs right now? Okay, now he's got no legs. So it's going to take him a moment to, you know, recover. So how about we just put a bit of bleed damage on you, buddy? And you're already mutated. Alright, I assume you were lovely. Rad-powered right arm. Additional strength, hi you rads. Can be really, really fun. I mean, not for me. Not in this build, not in this game. But if you're doing a melee build, those can be hilarious. That's all absolutely fine. We can have a good Luxy roundy. I just really enjoy this collapsed architecture. Just a beautiful cracked open police station where you can clearly see, like, you know, what the floor plan would have been back in the day. But now it's all at an angle. And, you know, there's junk being put over here as if it slid down, which is just, ah, oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. I adore it. Oh, I am also a hearing. Hang about, buddy. Are you? Oh, flip me. Do we have Brotherhood reinforcements coming in? Because I suspect we do, and okay. I'm willing to assist. Let's get some damage on your legs. Let's get you down, buddy. Down on the ground. When both limbs go down, they don't know where I am precisely. But yeah, we got to have Brotherhood reinforcements coming in at this point. Oh, yeah. Bare minimum. Mini gun. Some of these guys might actually have... Oh. There we go. I'm a hearing a knight. Oh, we have a knight. Yes, right there. Okay. We've got knights on the ground. Stalkers, laser musket. Several different types of ammo. Maybe it's... Ow! Oh, bloody... You're back, apparently. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I could have sworn you were dead. As in, like, literally, I... I bothered killing you, right? Yes, hang on. I can verify this. I've got the meat from your corpse and my inventory, buddy. Okay, you know what? I need to heal in a hurry. Quantum does that. I'm already in slow mode. Let's just stack a tiny, tiny bit more on. Just to, you know, make sure we're all okay. Then I need a weapon that does not have splash in it. No, 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 no. Stagger, stagger, stagger. Brotherhood friends. I'm going to be honest, I need some assistance. Okay, so my arm's broken. Don't really know where you came from. He's down on the ground. 
please begin shooting. Oh, there's there's more trouble behind you. It's okay, guys. We're all in it together. It's all gonna be fine. Just keep on shooting. One of my arms is definitely broken at the moment. Go for you. I think you're just using basic pipe. That's fine. That's you, death. Oh, this is explosions. Is he dead now? Okay, now he's dead. Did you have a legendary? Troubleshooter's combat shotgun. Okay, first combat shotgun we've seen. Troubleshooters are not so bad. Works against most synths. Works against robots. Works against kill teams. Okay, so you guys were actually fairly battered. And I suspect actually, yeah, that vertebrate is fighting something else. So okay, just... This got, uh, yeah, it's a little bit on the manic side fast. John, don't leave behind the ammo. Okay, these lands are just on crusade right now. I cocking love it. So, okay, just uh, help out a little bit. Make sure that we get some of the share of the XP. Lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful work right there. And you've exploded. Lovely. There's definitely more yet, though. I feel like the vertebrate would have gone down by now if I hadn't already, you know, taken out the missile launcher, man. So, you're welcome. Okay, then I'm running back over there. There's there's definitely more trouble over, over here, though. Okay, I need to check these corpses. I'll be back with you in a second. Just don't get too far ahead. Seriously, just got to do some corpse checking. Oh, you're the tough one. Oh, well, obviously you're the tough one. Okay, go in the head, then over to the leg. So, boom, 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 boom. Lovely. Oh, you weren't that tough, buddy. You weren't that tough. Howard. Howard is not bad. Right, get after the Brotherhood, because we need to follow them. Just make sure. No, you're definitely fine. Okay, just follow the Brotherhood. They seem to be going in the right direction. Who are you guys even hunting? I don't know, but they seem to be hunting... What the flip? Oh, it's okay. That's the vertebrate. I thought there was something really big in the lake for a second. Who are you guys? Okay, can you just naff off for one second? I don't know where you're coming from, but I swear you're supposed to be dead. Vertebrate, meanwhile, is, I think, okay. Vertebrate is changing out because vertebrate is very much... What happened to my robot, by the way? Okay, I think Robot died and I didn't notice. So, I feel bad about that. Because Robot was Robot friend, but now Robot is dead. Okay, you know what? Me and these guys are my new best friends. And I'm just going to check everybody on the way past. Just making sure there's nothing else going on. Because, uh, for some reason, this area is spawning way more death claws than I was expecting. Okay, now we're out of combat. Now I can verify. Martyr's chest piece. Not important. It's not a crime until you try and take it. And... Uh, buddy, what have you got? Safe crackers! Okay, you know what? Me and you, buddy, we're fine. No trouble. No trouble whatsoever. So, yes, you're actually in pretty good shape. You've already mutated. And it looks like your armor might be a bit on the uh, battered side. So, uh, all right. Me and them, we're now going to be friends. That was slightly manic for a second. Okay, they got to the end of town and then turned back, so the friendship is immediately over. Okay, following morning, a weather not ideal to be honest, but... I think this should now be, yes, a fairly quiet bit of the map. As long as we stick to the road and we don't run into uh, robot kill squads, uh, yeah. There shouldn't be anything too much between me... And the glowing sea at this point. Oh, and there's a hell of a screenshot right there. Um, okay. I think I've reached the, uh, the edge of the glowing sea. Because, yes, you can reach it very soon after the town. Yes, I know from previous experience, the very southern tip of this lake does officially put you in the glowing sea. And I don't want to be in the glowing sea. Not just yet, anyway. There's, uh, yeah... One more location I'd like to reach first. But you're going to know when you hit the glowing sea. Because uh, the filter and the weather are going to adjust accordingly. So we're just going to keep on keeping on. There we go. There's the rads. That's, you know, the obvious tell right there. And I'm guessing in a moment the weather's going to go a bit uh, fuzzy. Just going to be avoiding all of this for a moment. Because, yes, there is one... Very important location I need to go visit. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Robotics Pioneer Park. 
Now this. Oh, this place is lovely. Right, step one. Go over to Kneecapper. Hi, buddy. I see you. I see you. Legendary Alpha. Okay, well, let's see how Alpha you feel when I cut all your legs off. And Why haven't his legs gone down? Why haven't his legs... Legs! There we go. That's better. Now he doesn't have legs. And now we're going to shoot him in the stomach, which he doesn't appreciate. And then we're just going to put some more bleeding damage on him. You know what? Just, just use the 10 millimeter. It's fine. He's mutated. More damage. Just use the 10 millimeter. It's fine. And in just a moment, just uh, give it a moment or two. Just falls over. Lovely. Now, obviously, we could have done, you know, other things uh, to finish him off. But uh, let's just say... I've got a plan for this area. So we're going to be taking out everybody else at first. All right. All local threats eliminated in this bit of the world. And more importantly, yes, indeed, uh, the Brotherhood have popped in. Because this is one of their absolute guaranteed spawns. They always uh, drop in to say hello. So that there, that is excellent news. I can just uh, follow them around to let them do the work. Be uh, flipping beautiful. Assist if, you know, I feel like I need to. Don't feel like I need to right now. I think it's all under control. And yes, make sure you don't, uh, by accident, end up shooting them too. And yes, once we're out of fire, check what they've got on them too. Because they are all legendary. They should clear this up nice and easy. Though that guy is... Way up front of his friend. He's about to go down. So, okay. It's possible, yes, the um, the Brotherhood aren't going to be winning this one. Oh, yeah. We got Butchers on the field right now. Legendary Butchers. That's a legendary enforcer. And the Brotherhood Knight is in the middle. All right. So, I think the other one's already dead. Can't confirm that for certain. You're about to start shooting me. No, you're prioritizing taking out uh, the person who's shooting you. Fair enough. To be honest, oh, we are lacking in, lacking everything. Go over the shotgun. I'm going to assist, all right? Well, we can use uh, this fire to get right up to... No, don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. That would be really rude. I feel like you're about to die and I'm going to be left really high and dry. Okay, it's starting to rain, which is sad and... Almost had a good shot right there. Tiny bit of good damage. And a buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Let's get some... Oh, you've got a flipping sledgehammer. Oh, it might be legendary. I don't know. Okay, just keep going, Em. Boom. Okay, that was the cripple. Interrupted that. There's another reload. One more. Should go down just to bleed. And that was... No, that was actually the chest piece. Go for this. Who else is here? The butch is in a lot of trouble. What happened to the Brotherhoods? I think possibly Brotherhood's dead. Butcher is all that's left. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Crippling bat on. Love it. Right, where are you, buddy? I see ya. I see ya. Go for the legs we can hit. Boom. Boom. Back off. Dead. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cryogenic. So much cryogenic in the world. That's this place. Cleared out, I believe. Uh, there's not going to be too much else floating about. I think I've already, yes, accounted for just about everybody. There's the uh, flaming wreckage over there. Lovely. Oh, and also level up because I forgot to do that. Um, okay. Grim Reaper Sprint could go up to 25%. Or increase Demo Expert. Yeah, Demo Expert, do it. Okay, unnecessary guns traded out for ammo back at base. Troubleshooters combat, I'm just going to take that straight up to as good as it can. Not automatic though, because yeah, this is just a bonus per shot as a percentage. So just maximizing the initial damage, that's the way to go. Powerful will do me for now. Make it a bit more on the range and accuracy. Lovely. Okay, following day. Perfect condition. Back down to the Robotics Pioneer Park, and uh, I suspect you may guess what's about to happen, which is uh, these here robots are unstoppable murder machines. I love them, and I can get them to follow me. But what I did learn from, uh, yes, the police bots that I ran into in Jamaica Plain is uh, apparently if you fast travel, only one of them will go with you. But if you don't fast travel, the whole group controlled by that terminal will go with you. So... Uh, I don't know, haven't tested this, but I'm kind of hoping I can get this kill team 
to follow me into the glowing sea. Okay, the robots up and about, they were all talking about VIP. So if I just step over here. Guys, anybody interested in maybe... I think I might have only got you. So okay, today my best friend is... Yes, Ambulance Bot, who's actually a melee lad. So we're going in and me and you, there's... There's Brotherhood over there. Two of them, actually, and I think they're being missiled by uh, the gunners, so... Let's not worry too much about that. Brotherhood just going into the glowing sea. And straight away, I am hearing... Okay, there's definitely gunners up on that area. And they do not like the Brotherhood uh, one little bit. Though, honestly, the Brotherhood might just kind of, uh, by accident, get pulled into... Yeah... This whole business, and for now, Rads are very much under control. Radix is uh, doing its job. And, uh, oh yeah, straight ahead of me, the ghoul pool. So that is not going to be an issue in the slightest. Just take out some of uh, you guys. Take out the legs! It's all fine. I took out the arms, not the legs. Pretty sure there's trouble. You are being no help whatsoever. Okay, this is a very dramatic glowing sea today. It's all fine. Okay. Just finish off. How did you miss? They're just lying on the ground doing nothing. Check this. Okay, come on. I've got a good feeling about the glowing sea. Never ending 10 millimeter. Honestly, not the best. Powerful boxing glove again. That is an actual excuse me. Okay, you apparently just haven't woken up yet. Go, 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 robot. Then again, are you in range? Okay, down he goes. Robot, this one's on you. How strong are you? And the answer is... Okay. Not very. Okay, I think I got, like, the worst robot. Okay, so my robot plan has not worked desperately well. Right, get rid of some rads. So I've still got a health meter. That's just blood bugs and whatnot up ahead. That's honestly not that bad. Actually, yeah, blood bugs. Uh, should be able to take them out of the sky without too much difficulty. Though, admittedly, getting the consistent hits on their frame is going to be a, a bit tri- Oh, they're a bit fast, mind. Okay, this is- Why are you going for the head, John? Don't go for the head. Oh, you just blew some of their limbs off right there. Oh, this is- That's too many- Okay, go, go, go! Stop blindly firing! Blindly firing! Blindly firing! Just randomly- No, not that. That's like the hardest thing to hit. Where's like- There's a torso. There we go. That's gonna do some good work. No! No! No limbs! Right, activate kneecapper. That's, oh, that's a legendary Red Widow. Oh, naturally. I left the toughest one for bloody last. Okay, this is, no! Nap off. It's completely just works around me. Go, go, go. Okay, this is, I'm in legendary slow time. Oh, that thing's tough. Okay, back off. And now just shoot it. It's gonna go down nice and fast. John, just, just go over to wounding. Okay, just go over to the wounding. It's at the bottom, so I forget about it when I'm panicking. But it, it's fine. Just do the one thing your character's good at, okay? Um, blood bugs. Tougher than anticipated. Okay, you've got, like, very little... No, no. Torso. One. Dead. Okay, bloody hell. Steadfast, double-barreled. The protector, I'm still so... Oh, wait, am I dying? I might be dying right now. I've got two hit points, and I don't know whether I'm losing them. Just, just, just keep the, keep the shotgun out. The shotgun will keep me alive. Probably. Oh, and there's something you never want to see. Rad scorpions. No, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Over, over here. There we go. We got somebody's attention. And, okay. I don't think they can pop up in the roof. And now I'm, okay. Now I'm just trying to do this. Okay, this is, this could be... Where are you, buddy? Take out the legs. Take out the legs. Let's slow him down. Don't know what happens if his legs... I mean, you just punched a... How is this working? He appears to just be perma-staggering a scorpion by, by punching it. I mean, well done. That's great. Okay, you know what? Let's do a nice ironic tag team, which is I will do bleeding damage to him, and you will, like, you know, heal him. By punching him with your punching hands. And now, oh yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. That was, that was a big one. Right there, I mean, okay. 
You know what, buddy? Me and you, maybe we can be friends after all. I was a bit skeptical at first, but you just proved me wrong. Well done. All right, we're going in just up. Follow the marker. Steer to the left. I don't want to cause too much trouble with, uh, yeah, more flipping around scorpions if I can. There is one straight ahead of me. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. That's only a basic. All right, it's not so bad. Uh, and you appear to be not... Okay, I don't know why they weren't particularly interested in me, but they weren't. And now, okay, we just use a time manipulation. Okay, there we go. You're... Why are you poisoned? I don't know. Now I'm in danger. Understandable. One. And reload. Time. Two. Come on, robot. Punch him. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Right, start. I can't sprint. That's the entire point, John. Woohoo. Okay, more auto stem. Take the... Forgot to factor in the poison. Although I'm going to be honest, um, before I attack these rad scorpions, um, does anyone know why they're not, not attacking me? I feel like we shouldn't be fine, but for some reason you're really chill with me. Well, that was a sneak attack, suggesting it didn't know I was. Well, that's just peculiar. Okay, wait, and now go into sneaky mode and one and. So, now that, that was, there's another one, isn't there? And I just punched it myself, but I got Grim Reaper Sprint. Oh, the cunning genius plan. It's all coming together. Grim Reaper Sprint, wounding, dead, mutated, going to die, time manipulation. I am the god of time and also blood. Oh, that's a good combo. That is a powerful, powerful thing right there. Quick draw laser pistol. Now, that actually could work well with wounding. Get the wounding. Go over to that. Plus all my vats gear. Okay. That's a good way of stalling for time, actually. I mean, yeah, just go into shotgun. Get all the bleed damage. Trade out to that. And then I can just stay with that thing firing for days. Oh, I think we've got a bit of trouble coming in, though. All right, here we go. 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 Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Let's get some nice belly shots on you. Get the lovely wounding in. Oh, that's not doing that much wounding, actually. Okay. And some more. I've got another reload, another attack yet. And then, ow, you came out of answer just the wrong. He's dead. He's dead mid-animation. Well, all right. Fascinating. I'm not sure where you came from, buddy. Resolute, fine but not spectacular, and a perfectly timed level up there too. Beautiful. Right, straight up the road to the children of Atom. Nothing too much needed here, to be honest, so they can give me the uh, next location. And of course, don't forget astoundingly awesome tails, because ghouls, I do enjoy fighting them. Yes, don't forget to level up, so okay. Demo Expert 3. Is available oh, literally right now. Done. Flipping done. I was about to say, oh, it's really difficult between that and Grim Reapers 2. No, it's not. If we've got the large area radius, go for it. And yeah, this next area should be pretty chill, to be honest. Just straight up to the final death claw. But we've been taking them out all day. That's no problem. And there's another one. But they're just, they're green. They're neutral. For some reason today, I am allied with rad scorpions. And I don't know why. And okay, I suppose, given, uh, yes, one of my principal enemies, uh, the rad scorpions have just decided uh, they want to be friends today. On to final boss death claw. Though, yeah, as I say, we've kind of been taking them on all day, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, seriously, welcome back to the regular rotation, kneecap. Uh, you have really proven your worth. Actually, this has been very good. I say this, um, there are problems we've got here. Like, say, the 45 ammo we are running worryingly low on. Just keep going for him. There we go. You go down, buddy. Now just the cheapest wounding we've got. Well, that's that empty. All right, just keep on going. Might be, no, that won't be enough. Uh, if you want to get in on this, he's so slow. He's, he's just so bloody slow. There we go. He just he just died while I was looking away for something else. And where'd the body go? There you go. 
penetrating... Ooh, radium rifle. First time we've seen a radium rifle. Interesting weapons, but honestly, like, irradiated. I just feel like too many enemies resist them. Yeah, I feel like we've got better tools already, and uh, even more surprising, Robot Friend made it, which I'm just delighted by. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 no, 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 this is... Well, this is all very embarrassing. I'm going to be honest, I... I didn't mean to start a fight. He did nothing to you. Nothing. There we go, old friend. I'm afraid the best I can do is... I'd say cremation. It's more kind of being turned into soup, but it's as close to cremation as I can get, okay? I'm sorry. Still, I would say that's enough for now. We have made a very peculiar trip through the glowing sea today. For some reason, the rad scorpions decided they wanted to be friends, and then Virgil's turrets decided they wanted the opposite. So... Yes, very peculiar indeed. But next time, we're going straight over to Hunter Hunter. Plenty of enemies are floating around in there. So a good chance of spawning some of these new sexy weapons we're starting to see appear. Missile launchers, gamma guns, mini guns, all starting to appear. Oh yeah, we are definitely due something incredible at some point or another. And seriously, the good stuff is now spawning in. So join me next time as our fight returns to the Commonwealth. And then, yes, indeed, we're moving straight on to the third act. We should be able to build the teleporter immediately. And uh, let's just say I've got a bit of a plan for the final act of the game. Hopefully, you join me next week for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4 Legendary Roulette. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.